And tonight I'm gonna to share with you caregiver survival tip number six, which is to find humor in absurd situations. At this point, Quentin had been in adult diapers for about four years. He also had prostate cancer, which was advancing um, steadily. And this is what Madeline had to say. Don't know if I've told you about Quentin's recent obsession with sex. Just out of the blue, one morning at breakfast, he turned to me and said, Madeline, it occurs to me that you don't want to have sex with me anymore. And I said, that's right, Quentin. That part of our life is over. <laughs> and then he said, well, if you're not willing to have sex with me, would it be okay with you if I had sex with somebody else? <laughs> And I said, you know what? Knock yourself out. <laughs> Just go for it. I figured if he could find someone who was willing to have sex with him, she could have all of him. <laughs> she could deal with his wet depends. She could change his sheets in the middle of the night. She could pick him up off of the floor when he fell. She could just have him all to herself. <laughs> so the next morning, at breakfast, he turned to me and said, Madeline, would you call Avis? <laughs> Avis is the girl that he took to his high school senior prom 60 years ago. Well, of course, I didn't want to call Avis. But as the morning went on, he said, have you called Avis? When are you going to call Avis? Why haven't you called Avis? Have you called Avis? Finally, it became such an obsession, it was the only thing he could talk about, so I went to the phone, I picked it up, and I called Avis. Well, it turns out Avis and her husband were coming to McPherson. It's about a 50-mile drive from Wichita for a funeral on Saturday. So I said, well, why don't we meet at the Red Coach Inn for lunch? <laughs> so we agreed to. So when Avis came walking into the restaurant, she had her oxygen bottle strapped to the walker. I thought, that'll take care of that. So we sat down, we had a nice lunch. I told Avis's husband about all the things I was doing to help make caring for Quentin easier, like the ceiling hoist over the bed and the plastic pad I put underneath his chair so he could scoot up to and away from the table easier. And Avis's husband told me about all the things he was doing to take care of her. And, and I thought, okay, well, that's done. Got in the car to go home and I turned to Quentin and I said, uh, well, what do you think of Avis now? And he said, I think she wants me. 